Hello and welcome back to our Stealth AI series. Previously we've been working on our character movement as well as starting work on our guard AI. Now previously our guard is walking around randomly but we need to change that so they follow a strict path that we have designed for them. Now the reason why you want a designed path in a stealth game is because you want the player to be able to learn and remember the pathing of each enemy and time their executions perfectly. So we need to set up path points for our enemy to follow as well as what to do when they reach those certain path points. So for this we need to create a new actor. We go add new, blueprint class, choose actor and we're going to call this one path point. And open this up. Inside the path point we're going to add a sphere collision. And that sphere collision we're going to move just above the root here and change its radius from 32 to 64 so it stands out a bit and attached to that we're going to add a arrow and the arrow is going to be representative of their rotation also the rotation that the actor will be in when they enter this path point so basically if we turn to weight there which direction is the guard going to look at and uh, keep an eye on so we want that arrow there to indicate that for us so with that there, we now want to go to the variable list, go new variable, and this one will be wait time, and we'll make that a float. Now this variable is going to be used later on to determine how long the enemy guard should wait at this point before it moves on to the next one. Once it's done that, it'll move on. So to go along with that, we're also going to have a wait time deviation. So add a new variable and do wait deviation. And this can be add some sort of randomness to it. So if we want to make it sort of a random wait time, we can do that here with this tool set up like so. So this will also be a float. Hit compile and we are done here. So the way this works is that you drag out path points into your map and determine what they should be doing when they hit these path points. So this one will be looking out this way and we're going to add another one in. And this one's going to look out like so. And we're going to add another one here. And just keep rotating them to change the rotation of the character when they reach these points. Okay. And I can loop around. But I wait and wait and wait. So once we've got those path points in there, we now need to be able to tell the guard which path points are going to be done in which order. So for that, we're going to put that into our guard enemy child class here. Because this is going to be a unique trait to the guard class, they will follow a path, whereas things like dogs, for example, probably wouldn't. So we're going to use them on the guard enemy here. So open up your guard enemy, and in the variable list, we're going to grab a new variable, and this will be patrol path. And we're going to tick instance editable, and change the type for this to path points. I made that an object reference. We also want to make that an array. So check, click on the little blue ball, change it to an array icon, like so. Hit compile, and we are done here. So we can close that out, and click on our guard. And on the details panel on the right hand side, you should be able to now find where you can insert the patrol path. So the patrol path, we can just add these points that we want them to walk. So let's add a new patrol path point here and choose patrol path point one which is this one here and we can also use the eyedropper tool to help us with this so add new point eyedropper that one and new point eyedropper this one new point eyedropper this one and that's it now when the enemy reaches the end of the path, we need to determine what they're going to do when they reach the end. Are they going to loop around, are they going to walk back, or are they going to stay where they put? So for that we're going to make an enumerator. So go to add new blueprints and choose enumeration. And this will be a patrol path uh, ending. And then click on this. We're then going to tell it to add a new one. A new one is going to basically do do nothing. So we could say do nothing. Next one is going to be uh, patrol back. The next one is going to loop. 
and that basically go back to the start. So patrol back goes back in reverse order. Loop will loop it and do nothing. We'll just stop at the end and stop and stay still. So hit save and close that. On the guard enemy variables, you want to add a new variable. And this will be patrol path behavior. And the type for that is going to be a patrol path ending in Tick instance editable and click compile. Then go into your guard and on the right hand side you can decide what it does when it reaches the end. So do nothing, patrol back or loop. We're going to save by for now loop. So it's going to keep going around and around in circles. So there's your path all set up and tied to the guard enemy. In the next part we'll work on our tasks and getting the enemy to follow those paths in a particular uh, direction and handling all the waiting and all of its different actions along the way. You can watch that part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for their continued support and none of this would be possible without you guys so thank you again so so much. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out so please consider hitting that button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.